Ah, this place. I feel like I've been here before. What happened? The last thing I remember, I was with Lavi and Rafi. Then there was an Outer Reaper. Deca. I just met her. We were talking? I think, but everything felt out for a while. But what happened after that? My vision blacked out? And before I knew it, I'm in this dark place again. Will I get woken up again? Just like last time? I hope so. On tags? Or, uh, are, uh, squishy pillows? My dots went away for a while, but an image suddenly started extruding. A figure? Judging from the slit, it's a woman? I couldn't make out more of her appearance as my vision is all dark and blurry. Who are you? Why? Why do I feel like we met before? Did I know you from my previous life? Silence lingered for a while, but I started hearing noises. Noises? No. It's a voice. Are you... speaking to me? Um... I hear a voice, but it's almost inaudible. I... I can't pick up on what you're saying. D -E -R? Do you you dash? Do do you? Do I dash? Do I what? You are mer made? Do I remember? What I need to remember? Do you know who I am? Have we actually met before? Wait! My vision started blocking out again! I still have a lot of things I want to know! I tried to hold down the image in front of me, but to no avail. It's because I'm being given haze here. God damn it. And before long, I couldn't see anything anymore. But I had so many questions. My mind went completely black once again. Time moved smoothly despite losing consciousness. It felt like an eternity before my eyes would open again. And what greeted me when they finally did... Hello. Dream Reavers can't sleep, it's noon! She's sleeping next to me! Why? How did we end up in a situation like this? If I had a call, I was with Rappi and Lappi before I pissed out! You said she had something to take care of and went away? Does that mean she's done with what she needed to do? Even if that's the case, why exactly are we in a bed together? But I don't think that's the most important thing right now. I remember I had some kind of dream. I saw a figure of a woman, and she spoke to me. She was asking me if I remember. Remember what exactly? Hi. I was, as I was lost in touch, Nia slowly opened her eyes and quickly locked onto mine. Finally awake. You look cute. Your sleeping face was cute. Oh my! Look at me first thing in the morning. You're so naughty, human. You're full of energy as usual. Of course I am. But I'm glad that you're finally awake. Finally? How long have I been out? You passed for a while, thinking. About three days for the human world? Three days! Was I really sleeping for that long? That's what Susie told me! 
that it did feel like a long time before I was finally able to open my eyes again. I remember you said you had something you needed to do before leaving. About finding a missing reaper? That's right! Were you able to find her? Of course you did! Aren't I such a good reaper human? I don't remember if this or even actual previous action lead me to a certain kinky with her. Honestly. Uh in this case. <laughs> Are you? <gasps> Am I not? Even though I spent so much time finding her! I'm just teasing you. Don't cry, get working on finding her. See! I am a good leaper after all! How long did that take you? About the same time that you were asleep. I just got back some time ago when I... Uh, then I heard what happened to you. Is that so? What about the missing reaper? I brought her back and said so you were trying to, to do her job. Then I'm guessing she already left. Most likely. She has a lot of things she needed to take care of. That's a shame. Well, I heard from Luffy and Luffy that she's supposedly the strongest creeper. And that made me interested to see her. <gasps> Why would you want to meet her? Am I not that am I not enough for you? You fucking shit face! Ah! What are you talking about? I didn't mean it uh, that way. I was just curious how she would look like being the strongest creeper and all. Well, it's not like I'm that concerned about it. I'm fine even if I don't see her. Especially if you're gonna act all jealous about it. I was just joking, human! Is that so? Well, never mind about that. Guess I don't need you then. I've been thinking about it since I woke up, but... Why exactly were we sleeping in the same bed? Do you not like it? Uh, God damn it! I don't want to break your heart. I don't want to see your tears. Oh, fuck it. Well, that's led me to the kinky shit. But what about to wake up next to a good girl? What happened to you, human? You're being so naughty since you woke up. Did you miss me that much since I went away? Maybe I did. Jail. Are you going to tell me why though? <gasps> right! I haven't slept for a while now, so I thought I'd to get some while waiting for you! You haven't slept since you left to find the missing Reaper? Even before that! Do you Reapers never get tired? Hmm. Technically, you can see that! Technically? Our bodies can't get tired, but their minds eventually do! Then how often do you actually sleep? I'm not really sure! Right. And I guess you wouldn't remember if it's not a big deal for you. Yep! But enough about me! I should be talking about you, human! Huh? What do you mean? Because... Something has been sticking out of you since you've woken up! Uh oh. Something sticking out? Is she talking about my... deck? Uh, God damn it! Uh, what do I do? I can't! That I put to make a cry! Ah, fuck it out! Uh, of course not! Why are you even less dead? Just joking with you, human! Right. Did you, but did you really need to get so heated about it? That's what you'll get for trying to tease me! Come on, human! I think this is the first time we've done this! We should know how this plays out by now! Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe. You know, laugh at me as she softly smacked my chest with her hand. She finally calmed down after a short while. Do I think we should actually get going now? Where do we need to go? Why do you think I came here in the first place? Did you come here to check on me? I was thinking you, uh, you were worried about me. Well, of course I am! You smacked me lightly once again. I was waiting for you to wake up so we can visit my Mai again. <coughs> uh, I guess we should go see her. I'd like to know if she made some progress while I was out. Maybe she'll know something about the dream I had too. I do like to know that too! I've been gone because of my job! So I haven't had the chance to visit her! So let's go, human! Yeah, let's go. Okay, kinky shit, ah, waited. But me and I got up from the bed and went our way to Micah and Into. As soon as we arrived, Dinta welcomed us and led me to sit in front of Micah. Hello. You guys see that a bit farther from us, just like when we first visited here. How are you, human? Yeah, I think I'm fine. I don't confess to God before, I'm not really feeling anything bad now. That's good. Do you have any idea why that happened to me? Micah doesn't seem like she has any plans to talk just like before. Damn it! Well, I guess I would find it more odd if she's just suddenly talking now. Fortunately, Master was able to make progress since the last time you came here. We also checked up on you when we found out you passed out. You were able to tell what caused it? Then allow me to start with the explanation. As we told you before, Master thought your body structure was similar to mine. Master was able to confirm that theory. Then are you saying we're the same? Not entirely. Master is the only one in our world who's able to create dolls like me. At least that's how it should be. So, so I did say that someone made me. That's right. Another Reaper somehow managed to imitate Master. And uh, do you have any clue who that could be? There haven't been any records of another Reaper capable of uh, this. That's right! I've never heard of anyone like that either! A Reaper who created me? It can't be! I bet when my stomach suddenly started heating up as the image of my dream came back to me. Who is, who is this girl with long hair? What's wrong, human? God's sweat ran down my face, and you seem to have noticed a change in my expression. It's just... I had a dream when I passed out. A dream? Yeah, I'm not sure if that's even what I should call it. But I saw a figure of a woman, and it felt like she was trying to talk to me. She was asking if I remember. Did that really happen, Yemen? Yeah, my mind was easy, but I'm sure of it. You said you saw a figure. What did she look like? Even if the image came back to me, it was still really blurry. I was barely able to make out a figure thanks to my uh, small ass brain, but I'm pretty sure she had long hair. Other than that, I can't really say more, I'm sorry. It's not your fault, human! Sister knows right. With our clues we find, they're useful. Yeah, thank you. Do you think the figure has, all, uh, has something to do with all of this? Is she the one who created me? Possibly, but it's still too early to draw conclusions. Master would have to look for uh, uh, more into it. I guess you're right. My mind went silent for a few moments, simulating what I, I heard so far. No matter how much I think, I can't even begin to imagine the purpose of my existence. Why exactly was I created? Why me? Who am I even to begin with? Unfortunately, we still can't answer that. 
master is not sure if all your questions can even be answered. Right. Don't worry about it, human! We're gonna try to find out why! Yeah, I'll help um, however I can too. We're grateful for your cooperation, but unfortunately that's not all we found out. Huh? What do you mean by that, Dinan? It's about the cause of human passing out. You were able to find out why that happened too? You said it yourself, Sister Neil. Hey! What exactly did that say? Is it about other entities not being able to stay here in your world? <gasps> you mean that? Of course you remember! Right. I think I know where this is going. Unfortunately. That was a sign of your body starting to break down. Break down? But that human was, was it all human then? Yes. I were made human was trying to imitate Master. That's all she was able to do. She wasn't able to fully imitate Master. Does that mean my body would continue to break down? And I won't be of this world soon? Most likely. Hearing Gento see that didn't startle me as much as I thought it would. I guess I had a feeling I wouldn't have been able to stay in this world for long. Or maybe I just had no expectations to begin with. Yes, yes! That's just too sad! Can't we do anything to help you, man? You know how our world works, Sister Neil. <laughs> yeah! Neil looked at me silently with sad eyes. There's no need for you to make that face, Neil. But I'm happy to see how much you care. Of course you do! Neil tried to show her usual energetic self, but she was clearly affected by what Intel reported. Do you know how long I would be able to stay here? We don't know exactly, but I don't, uh, but, but don't expect it to be long. Right. Then what should I do now? The room went silent for a moment, but then those bland words quickly cut through. The rules of our world are definite. There's no use trying to fight it back. So I suggest we let you decide what you want to do. That's right, human! Even if we don't have much time left, we can still make the most of, uh, out of it! Even Micah is showing her optimism. Yeah, you might be right. Being down about it won't help any of us. Yep, yep! We only ask of you to provide any new information you come across. Yeah, of course. I'll do anything I can to help you. <coughs> Master gives you her utmost gratitude. We'll continue finding more about the situation. Especially now that we have a clue on who is behind us. And I guess we should leave it to you again! We should go back to the space to the point of the information, human! Neil was about to grab my hand, but stopped halfway through. But is that not what you want to do? We just... We did just talk about leaving it to your decision! 